And as we uh, begin with a look at the cameras around the region, what a gorgeous sunrise. Check out this view from our camera at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. Sunrise this morning at 6.53, and you'll be able to enjoy that sun all the way until 7.15 tonight. So a sure sign of spring. Beautiful start to the day. Also in Nederland, they're over 8,000 feet and down in the Arkansas Valley. The camera in Salida pointing at the Swatch Range, and it has a beautiful start to the day there as well. We do have some clouds in the mix, though, and on the east Eastern Plains, those are low clouds. We actually have a dense fog advisory posted adjacent to Kansas and Nebraska. And you can see the darker clouds there. Those are the clouds that are lower to the ground over the uh, western slope and through the central mountains. And even the front range, we're just getting some high clouds that are mixing with the sun. Unfortunately, they're not going to produce any rain. We really do need it, just not in the cards for us today. We're beginning with temps right around 40 degrees, so a little bit cool out there. Up in the mountains, you have 32 at Grand Lake, 29 at Fraser. Today, we'll find those readings climbing into the upper 70s, and the record for today is 75. Yesterday, we didn't quite get to that record, but today, we have a better chance at it. Here are your current readings, waking up to 43 degrees downtown with a light south-southwesterly wind. That's the general flow in the upper levels of the atmosphere, too. You can see some Pacific moisture coming into the four corners region, but this is fairly insignificant. We're waiting for a stronger trough to come in that's currently over California, and that's going to move through the state Monday into Tuesday. So today we're ahead of that system. We have generally light winds, but we will find those starting to increase a little bit for the latter part of the day. Futurecast through 5 p.m. keeps us very dry, just some scattered clouds to mix with the sun from time to time, and there's that south breeze that's going to keep us very mild for the overnight hours, too. But tomorrow, as that trough gets a little bit closer, we're going to have the stronger winds. We begin this Monday afternoon, winds over 20 to even 40 miles per hour, especially those usually prone areas, the foothills and off the Palmer Divide. It's not going to make tomorrow's high of 80 degrees very enjoyable to be outside, but that wind is going to provide us with those warmer temps. So you can tell by the color contours where those stronger winds will exist for Monday, but that'll probably be our warmest day of the week. Today wouldn't be surprised if some places do touch 80 degrees, like Longmont, Fort Collins, Greeley, and Fort Morgan, so eastern plains. You can tell by the contours as well. More comfortable 60s, if not 50s, for the high country today, but generally a really nice Sunday to wrap up the weekend. Forecast and running going for 77 today. Beating that record that was set last in 1998, it's also tied with 1956. Tomorrow, very windy as that trough pushes through, but it does generate a little bit of moisture for the high country. We'll be looking at a chance for maybe a few light rain showers on the plains too, but it doesn't appear that this is going to have a very big impact on the metro area. And as we move on to the rest of the week, you'll see 70s, sunshine, Hey, for spring break, once the winds die down, this is going to be a really nice week for those wanting to get outside. A reminder that the women's final four is coming to Denver next weekend, and here's your chance to meet and greet Jewel when she performs in concert at NCAA's Tourney Town. So to enter the contest, go to thedenverchannel.com for a link to our Facebook page and all the contest details. We'll name the winners tonight on 7 News at 10. So that'll be really exciting next weekend. Jewel? I like Jewel. Yeah, a lot of people like her. <laughs> all right, thanks, Maureen.